now on Coast TV News. How handing out one too many drinks caused some businesses to pay the price. The hottest day in a month, how locals are spending their last days of summer on Delmarva. Cast your ballot, day one of early primary voting, why some are hoping to the polls ahead of election day. And a sweltering day on Del Marvel with temperatures in the mid 90s with the heat indices in triple digits. But there's good news. It's only a one hit wonder. So look for the temperatures to get back in line with your plans. This is Coast TV News at 5. Alcohol fines pouring into Worcester County. Good evening. I'm Mallory Metzner. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with a handful of stories or a handful of stores, rather, that have been caught selling alcohol to minors. The Worcester County Board of License Commissioners went around the area to see which stores would give alcohol to minors. Turns out there may be more than you think. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us certain stores that were caught red-handed, according to the board. Pizza to goes in the Ocean City area, Berlin Liquor Store, Ocean Pine 7-Eleven, and West Ocean City's Royal Farms. Only a few of the places that were fined. One local in the area thinks some places are known for giving drinks to people underage. Businesses around Worcester County have been caught handing out alcohol to minors. And Clay Johnson, who was once a general manager at an alcohol store in Ocean City, says everyone should be trained to catch a fake ID. When it's busier in the summertime, that's when the, it happens the most. And uh, if you're just uh, cautious and aware of uh, your surroundings and who you're serving, then there should be no problem. The Worcester County Board of License Commissioners has fined over 10 businesses giving alcohol to minors. According to the board, Pizza To Go's in Ocean City, the Berlin Liquor Store, Ocean Pines 7-Eleven, and West Ocean City's Royal Farms are only a few places that were fined with some being heftier than others, ranging from $200 to $2,000 a ticket. And Gary Stofam, who lives in the area, says certain places are known to give out drinks to minors. I believe that some businesses may do it occasionally. There's certain places that are perhaps known uh, for the younger uh, service workers. Uh, they perhaps know where to go to get a drink. With over $8,000 in fines contributing to businesses selling alcohol to minors, Johnson hopes businesses train incoming employees to always check someone's ID. I think it's very important to, uh, you know, take your time and ask somebody if you're 21, if they, you know, look like they're 40, still ask for an ID. Um, you know, sometimes people find it flattering, uh, but at the same time, the severity of the situation is that you want to protect yourselves and the business. So for those of age who choose to grab a beer, enjoy the last bit of summer with a cold one, legally. Worcester County hopes this will be a wake-up call for all businesses to make sure to check ID before handing out alcohol. I'm Kevin Zappay in Ocean City, Coast TV News. This year, there have been 85 road-related deaths in Delaware. We're getting that from DelDOT. It is a 6% drop compared to 2023. This time of year, we all have an extra focus on road safety with the start of school on Delmarva. During the school year is not the only time when drivers need to be cautious, but anytime they sit behind the wheel, they need to be alert. DelDOT says when you see that big yellow bus stop, you need to do the same. It, it takes a split second for a child to cross in front of a, uh, a bus uh, thinking that, hey, everyone sees the lights. It's OK for me to cross. And, uh, you know, uh, that that could be a, a real tragedy because someone is impatient. So, uh, you know, again, just it's just that time of year where it's it's good to be reminded of what those rules are and to put safety first. Del Dot also says even though a light may tell you it's OK to walk or you're in a crosswalk, Always double check it is safe and never assume drivers are paying attention. We want to tell you about two traffic changes to expect if you're heading to or from the coastal area next week. Del Dot announced Taylor Mill Road between Fire Tower Road and West Elliott's Dam Road in Laurel will close from Thursday, September 5th through Friday, September 13th. That's for crossroad pipe replacement. There will be detours in place that will take you through Sycamore Road and just north of Milford. There will be a traffic pattern shift on South Route 1. That will start on the evening of September 3rd. It's also for a crossroad pipe replacement. Del Dot says all traffic from the northbound lanes will be shifted to the southbound lanes. Two lanes in each direction will be maintained. Both of these projects are weather permitting.
A cool breeze and crashing waves, that's what drew crowds to the beach today on this high heat day. Temperatures upwards of 100 degrees as we charge towards September. After a mid-August low, we're back to hot, hot, hot heat here along the coast. But plenty of people, like Beth Allen, they say they're used to it. I don't think it feels so bad today. Um, it was beautiful, obviously, last week. It was beautiful. Um, it's my favorite weather. Um, but I think July was way worse uh, than it is today. So I say enjoy today because we don't have that many days left. In fact, there are exactly 27 days left of summer, so take advantage while it lasts. Happening right now, as the heat cranks up, the Delaware Electric Co-op is asking everyone to help beat the peak. Until 6 p.m., they're urging you to cut back on electricity. The co-op says just by easing up on electricity, you can help keep the grid running smoothly and maybe even keep your bill from climbing. It's a small step that the company says makes a big difference, especially on hot days like today. And since we're talking about heat and weather, let's take a live look outside into the Cambridge area and check in with our first alert chief meteorologist, Paul Williams. Paul, you've been pointing this day out for a few days. And it came to fruition as planned. <laughs> Unfortunately, in that sense, we had crazy heat and a heat advisor that was initiated for our area, our gutter helmet camera in Ocean City. We're coming in at 90 degrees right now. It's typically a little cooler along the water than along the coast and let's say the inland areas, but everybody has their fair share of the muggies. Now we'll dip to 83 with partly to mostly clear skies by 8 o'clock. We'll see a few more clouds by 9 o'clock. Taking a look, we have the heat advisor that's in effect for us, staying in effect until 8 o'clock for this evening. That's when the, the heat is going to subside for us. And we do have a chance of a few showers developing throughout the late night hours, like after midnight. Uh, but that looks like that's going to hold off for us because we're just not looking like we're in the immediate threat of that possibility of rain. That heat advisor, by the way, reaches and uh, affects everybody that's w throughout the entire Delmarva Peninsula. Now, coming up, we're going to talk about the relief that's just around the corner, Mallory. Paul, thank you. If you want to get a jump on your civic duty, early voting sites opened this morning in Delaware. This is for the state primary election, and here is an important reminder about the primary. Only those who are registered and affiliated with the Democratic or Republican parties can vote. Coast TV News headed to the Margaret H. Rollins Community Center in Lewis, where as of a few hours ago, they had welcomed more than 240 voters today. We caught up with one man who explains why he likes to take advantage of early voting. I don't like long lines. You never know it'll happen on September 10th, so it's a great opportunity to come and do it the first day. And that's what I do. Early voting sites will be open today until 7 p.m. For more information about times and dates to vote early, just visit our website, coasttv.com. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know how are you voting in this upcoming election, the way you're going to do that. Let's take a look at the results so far on your screen. It looks like 12% say they're voting early. We did say 240 had hit the polls just there in Lewis already. 81% though, they're holding out for election day itself. And another 7% say they're just not voting at all. Now, you can go to coasttv.com and vote in this poll. It's really easy to do or use the Coast TV mobile app. The conventions are over and it's crunch time in the race for the White House. Both campaigns are hitting swing states this week. The Harris Walls camp has winning Georgia on their minds. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington with details on former President Trump facing new legal issues. Fresh off the convention and back on the campaign trail, Tim Walls delivering remarks to the International Association of Firefighters, one of the nation's largest labor unions. And we know that when unions are strong, America's strong. Vice President Kamala Harris and her running mate are setting their sights on Georgia this week, kicking off a bus tour aimed at reaching voters in rural parts of the state. The road to the White House goes through Georgia. Senator J.D. Vance is also hitting battleground states, including Michigan. Michigan is leading the great American comeback, and Michigan is going to elect Donald J. Trump, the next president of the United States. Former President Trump is facing a renewed legal battle over his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Special counsel Jack Smith's office says this superseding indictment reflects the efforts to respect and implement the Supreme Court's holding. While original charges remain, some of the alleged acts Supreme Court justices ruled off limits and immune from prosecution were removed 
Meanwhile, Vice President Harris is seeking to silence her critics when her and Walls have their first joint interview Thursday, something Republicans had called on her to do sooner. Whether or not it will quiet the criticism, I think will remains to be seen how this interview unfolds. This is a very important interview uh, leading into the first presidential debate. Two weeks to go until the first Harris-Trump debate and less than 70 days until Election Day. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. Harris's trip to Georgia marks her seventh visit to the state this year and her second since launching her presidential campaign last month. Still to come on Coast TV News at 5, Money Moves. We're going to tell you which company just joined the Trillion Dollar Club. And good news, as that, this heat and humidity is going to come to an end, but we are tracking a chance of a scattered shower or two throughout the overnight period and definitely by the end of the work week. So your full forecast is going to be very important. At first, a group of culinary students celebrated with a graduation for their hard work over the past few months. How the course prepares them for the future. That's up next. It's time to take your outdoor living space to the next level. We have all the best brands in outdoor furniture, and we have incredible savings during the Labor Day outdoor sale at Johnny Janosik. Get 0% APR financing for 60 months, or take an extra 20% off our everyday low prices. Don't let another beautiful day go to waste, and don't miss out on these savings. Shop the Labor Day outdoor sale for a limited time only, and only at Johnny Janosik. Hey, welcome to Poppy's Tacos. There's plenty of space for you and all of your friends. The menu is packed with real deal Mexican eats. Build your own tacos are always a fan favorite. Authentic short rib is my choice. The fajitas are steaming and the smothered burritos are killer. We're open 363 days a year, so come pull up a chair. Poppy's, there's always a fiesta on 15th Street. Hurricane season is here, which means power outages can strike any time without warning. Don't get caught in the dark. Let the expert electricians at FH Fur install a Generac whole home standby generator, keeping your lights on, your family connected, and your home safe no matter what. Call FH Fur today and get $1,000 off. Plus, for a limited time, we'll include a whole home surge protector absolutely free. When Mother Nature strikes, it's too late. Stay powered, stay safe with FH Fur. 877-CALL-FUR, FHFUR.com. Governor Carney trusts Bethany Hall Long to be our next governor. As Lieutenant Governor, Bethany fought to protect abortion rights, passed an assault weapons ban, and made historic investments in education to improve our schools. That's why she's been endorsed by the Delaware Democratic Party. And why Governor Carney said, Bethany has the right experience to be our next governor and the vision to build a bright future for all Delawareans. On September 10th, vote Bethany Hall Long for governor. This is Coast TV News at 5. A big day for the Food Bank of Delaware. A graduation ceremony celebrated the end of a 12-week program designed for adults with disabilities. The program equips students with skills needed for employment in the food and hospitality industries. The program has both hands-on training at the Milton Food Bank and site job coaching to prepare for future employment. Executive Chef Tim Hunter says He's very proud of this group. I'm just as proud as they are. Those, these guys, you know, you see the work that they put in. So, you know, we're here with them every day. So you know how hard they work, um, you know, the struggles that some of them had to do to even just to get here um, and then to see today. That's what makes today so special. Chef Hunter says the program is now fully booked for the next two years. The Kent County Sheriff's Office is warning of a phone scam. The county posted to social media saying the Sheriff's Office has received more than 30 reports of scam calls within just two hours. Scammers are impersonating officers, claiming you missed jury duty or a court appearance, and they're demanding $2,000 to avoid arrest. The calls are coming from random cell phone numbers, according to the county. Officials urge anyone who receives these calls not to respond or call them back. Here's a look at your Bay forecast. Thursday, we recover with a much cooler day. But then Friday and Saturday, it looks like we're going to have the rain. It's going to come back into the forecast and possibly stick around for your weekend. Your full forecast next. Castle will make you wake up real quick. 
you get in touch with your mortality. You really do. I just wanted cancer to be removed. And robotics was the best way. Let's get it done. I arrived at BB at 9 a.m. I was walking back home at 4 p.m. That stood out that I could have a major surgery and be home in less than eight hours later. Robotic surgery worked for me. It really did. It's changed my life. The dad who recorded his daughter's first day of school every year, from the start of kindergarten to her senior year in high school, and every year in between. Next in some edition. Today at 5.30 on Coast TV. Celebrate Labor Day weekend with Camp Rehoboth Community Center at Sun Festival 2024 in Rehoboth Beach. On August 31st, enjoy a night of comedy with stand-up comedian Joe Dombrowski. He looked at me and he goes, ma'am, uh... <laughs> Okay, that laugh was a hate crime. <laughs> then on September 1st, dance the night away with DJs Robbie Leslie and Joe Gothrow. Don't miss the summer's biggest party at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. Get your tickets at camperhoboth.org. Sponsored by Coast TV. In Delaware, a family earning $67,000 a year pays the same tax rate as one making $67 million. I'm Matt Meyer, and you don't have to be a former math teacher to know that's an outrage. As governor, I'll make the super wealthy pay more in taxes so working people can pay less. By making state taxes more fair, we'll help more families get ahead. It's not just smart math, it's the right thing to do. Democrat Matt Meyer for governor. Celebrate Labor Day with huge savings at Preston Ford. Get $12,000 of savings off MSRP on select 2023 Ford F-150s. Save $9,000 off MSRP on a new 2023 Ford Bronco Badlands. These are just some of the deals. Explore a huge inventory online at PrestonFord.com. With over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles on the lot, we're sure to have the perfect vehicle for you. Labor Day weekend is the best time to upgrade your ride at Preston Ford. Cars cost less in Preston. Coast TV First Alert Weather, your safety, our commitment. Well, Mother Nature delivered, as promised, an extremely warm day. Temperatures well into the mid-90s throughout all of Delmarva. Our gutter helmet camera in ocean view, holding at 90 degrees, and the winds directly pushing out of the south, we will drop to 87 degrees with clear skies by 7 o'clock, and then we'll dip to the lower 80s with a few more clouds rolling in by then. First and foremost, the heat advisor is active until 8 o'clock. That means we have dangerous heat sticking around until that time frame for all of the state, but especially for Sussex County, obviously. In addition to that, the heat advisory also reaches into places like Cambridge, Elliott, Salisbury, Westover, Saxis, Chincoteague, Ocean Pines as well. So most of the Delmarva Peninsula, with the exception of the small sliver of land right along the coast. We also have concerns for air quality. Now we talked about this yesterday, but typically with a lot of oppressive heat, we have to deal with that possibility. Now the air quality alert has been extended until midnight for tonight, and that deals with breathing difficulties because it's at an orange level. For those with chronic breathing problems, that's going to be especially important. Small craft advisory has been active along the coast because of the gusty winds that we're expecting. And overall, we're looking at development to our west, but it looks like it's going to take it a little while to get here. It's just coming off of the West Virginia mountains, and that trough is now sliding throughout the immediate uh, western portions of the D.C. area, not in our immediate area. What's in our immediate area right now? Concerns for air quality. We're expecting all the dots to be orange for today. We have an orange warning, so to speak. So we're looking for unhealthy and sensitive uh, situation for us around the entire Delmarva Peninsula. But we're at least at a, or a yellow level, but we're in the same general air mass. So we got to watch out for that. It really pushed as far as the temperatures are concerned. We're 10 degrees warmer in Georgetown than we were 24 hours ago. And we're 12 degrees warmer, not only in Ocean City, but also in Wallops Island. Take a look at the temperatures. We're at 98 right now as we speak in Redden, 95 in Milton and Millsboro, and 96 currently in Georgetown. Dew point temperatures in the 60s and 70s, so what does it feel like? 104 right now in Redden, 106, dare I say, right now in Milton, and it feels like 102 in Millsboro. It feels like 112 right now in Ocean Pines, so the heat is there and it's on. We have late showers possible for tonight after midnight, but cooler conditions 
for the next few days, still kind of muggy, and then unsettled weather going into the Labor Day weekend. So for the next 12 hours, this is how we're setting up. We're looking pretty clear, to be honest. Until after the midnight hour, we won't even see a sprinkle come in from the west. But our threat, we're at a level two, but I think that's kind of overstepping it to say, to say the least amount, because overall we're seeing everything sticks away until we get to, let's say, Friday. That's when we see all the scattered showers begin to move in our immediate area. So that being the case, we're looking at highs staying in the 80s for tomorrow and being cooperative with the winds pushing out of the northwest. And we're looking for the real rain to hold off until we get to the holiday weekend with our three day beach forecast. We're looking at Friday and Saturday being the days we're expecting the best opportunity for scattered showers to push through our area. So as we get ready to round this thing up here, we're expecting for the mugginess to really begin to drop off by the time we get to Sunday going into Monday. So 73 for tonight, 81 and cooler for tomorrow, 76 and rain on Friday. And finally, here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration extended forecast. We salute Logan Faust. Sergeant Logan Faust, a dedicated combat medic in the Delaware National Guard, has exemplified service beyond the call of duty, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Activated by Governor Carney, Sergeant Faust played a crucial role in safeguarding the health of Delaware citizens. He provided vital patient care, conducted virus testing, and administered vaccinations across Newcastle and Sussex counties, notably at AI DuPont Hospital. Currently, he he continues to serve as both a recruiter and medic. Sergeant Faust and his wife are joyfully anticipating the arrival of their first child. We salute his ongoing commitment to his state and nation, honoring both his professional and personal dedication. Spicer Brothers and Coast TV are honoring military persons and first responders serving Delmarva. If you have a family member, friend, or community member that you would like to nominate for a Coast TV salute, go to CoastTVSalutes.com. Brian, what's the difference between treated wood and composite decking? Treated wood decking costs less, but requires a lot of maintenance over the years. Composite decking looks like wood, but won't fade, curl, or rot. It's insect resistant, maintenance free, and comes with a lifetime warranty. But through August 31st only, you can get composite decking for the same price as treated lumber, and no payments, no interest for 12 months. Paul Davis can bring the showroom to you as soon as tomorrow. And we'll give you a down to the penny price that day. Call Paul Davis, the restoration and remodeling expert. Weather is sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration, your storm damage experts, here to help now. When MAGA extremists took away our rights, Kyle Evans Gay took action. Kyle fought for her daughters and ours in the state Senate, delivering the strongest abortion protections in Delaware history. She took on the NRA to ban assault weapons and protect our communities. Led on securing our vote and our democracy. I'm Kyle Evans Gay, and I'm running for Lieutenant Governor because a new generation will champion reproductive freedom and fight for our families. Let's do this, Delaware. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Jeopardy, like the Everest of trivia. Spit and truth therapy. You gotta feel smart. You wanna look smart, just smart, be smart, think smart, look smart, be smart. You are smart, smarty pants. What is equus? Nitroglycerin. Avignon. Hyperglycemia. You got revenge on that category. Oh, I sure did. You gotta unleash the power. Woo! That's the path to Jeopardy success. You know, I like that, yeah. Yeah. New episodes September 9th on Coast TV. Dad, I need your help. I am in over my head with this house. I've got buckling floors, doors that won't close, sick kids, and a frustrated wife. Did you call DryZone? No, I called the cheaper guys. You've got to call DryZone. They're the oldest and the best. Just like you, Dad. Protect your largest investment with Del Marble's local choice, DryZone, the oldest and the best. Brought to you by DryZone, your local crawlspace experts. The Nanticoke Watershed Alliance released its annual report on the river's health. The report says that Marshy, Hope Creek, and Delaware headwaters, they're doing the best. While areas like Upper Nanticoke are still lagging behind, 
There were some improvements in nitrogen levels and dissolved oxygen is stable, but overall water clarity remains a concern in the river. The FBI has released new photos of the gun that attempted to assassin Donald Trump during a July rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The photos show the gun's collapsible stock, which investigators say may have been used to conceal the rifle at the site. The FBI also released photos of the backpack and explosives the shooter had in his car at the rally. The pictures were released Wednesday as FBI officials gave new details around gunman Thomas Matthew Crooks internet searches in the days before the shooting. They also gave details on how investigators are using those searches to piece together his mindset that day. For the first time ever, a non-technology company has joined the one trillion dollar club. On Tuesday, shares of Berkshire Hathaway briefly rose high enough to give the conglomerate a market value of a trillion dollars. It's the oldest or the yes, oldest on the list founded as a textile manufacturer all the way back in 1839. At the start of the year, CEO Warren Buffett warned investors that more skyrocketing performances were likely a thing of the past. But since his February 24th letter was published, shares of the company rose more than 13 percent. Year to date, they are up 28 percent. We'll be right back. Attention Delmarva homeowners. HomeSmart started with 50, then 30. Now we've reached the final days, looking for 20 homes to participate in our bath makeover event and receive test market pricing on a beautiful new walk-in shower. We want to showcase our Kohler Lux Stone showers in real bathrooms, including Kohler's proprietary crushed stone walls that won't harbor bacteria or soap scum. You'll get promotional pricing just to determine if our exquisite product lines are the right fit for your bathroom project. Final days, 20 homeowners will save. Receive 50% off installation of a new Kohler Luxstone shower. Plus, call during this program for no payments until 2025. Senior and military discounts. Call HomeSmart now with zip code and location to qualify. Call 1-800-616-8289. That's 1-800-616-8289. Since 1964, Tidewater Utilities has been providing high-quality water service that's essential to public health and quality of life. The Tidewater team are local, trusted experts who are continuously investing in infrastructure and monitoring water quality to ensure it meets the highest standards. We're in your community, making sure water is there when you need it. I'm Bruce Patrick, president of Tidewater Utilities. Thank you for helping make Tidewater Southern Delaware's premier water company for over 60 years. We look forward to continuing to serve you. Draper Media presents the Shore Living Expo, celebrating health, wealth, and home. Saturday, September 7th from 10 to 4 at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center. Sponsored by Spicer Brothers and Pohanka. Great demonstrations and interviews with Delmarva Life's Lisa and Jimmy on the expo stage, along with prizes and fun. Plus, meet your favorite Draper Media TV and radio talent. From crafts to home services, boats, cars, and RVs, this is a free event you don't want to miss. Go to WBOCEvents.com. See you at the Shore Living Expo. It's Delmarva's best kept secret. Johnny Janosik's Outlet and Clearance Center. Save up to 80% on name brand furniture and mattresses. Shop one of a kind, customer cancellations, scratch and dents, discontinued items, and more. Find incredible deals store wide. We have something for everyone and something for every room in your home. Shop early and often. New products arrive daily. And buy it today, get it today. Discover the secret. Shop Johnny Janosik's Outlet and Clearance Center in Laurel and Dover. Just a quick heads up, the heat advisory, that will e expire at 8 o'clock. However, the air quality um, alert stays active until midnight, okay? And that's basically all of Delmarva Peninsula, so please keep that in mind. You can always keep up with your forecast by calling our weather line, 443-880-9100. Your forecast is just a call away, sponsored by the law offices of Baird Medallis, Rockstead, and Federico. And finally, here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling exclusive 10-day forecast. We're cool for the next couple of days before that rain shows up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition is up next. And we'll see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great night.